Can you see my screen? Yes. Yep. Yes. All right, let's rock. So we're gonna talk about video, video, video. So I will be teaching this class in person next Thursday, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of, I'm gonna break it down slowly over the next couple of weeks though, because there's so much to YouTube that you would have to um, figure out and you can play with. And, and I'm telling you every week I learned something new. So I definitely wanna break this down into segments, but the I'll squish it down next Thursday um, in Waldorf. Um, and all of y'all are local, that's so far. So what does YouTube do? Um, how, how, why is YouTube so important? My, my thing is YouTube is so important because you could, YouTube is tied to Google. And Google is a search engine. And when people are generally looking for things such as homes, where to buy homes, who to help them buy homes, they're going to probably nine times out of 10 go to Google. If not, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, blah, 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 LinkedIn. But Google will nine times out of 10 be the, the main um, hub that they search from. And the cool thing about YouTube is it allows you the capacity to be searched from Google. So with that being said, let's jump. How to get started. So who on here has a YouTube account? I do. Okay, Justine. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. Okay, so everybody's got one. That's super cool. You guys are going to be my um my people. What are my people called? They're going to be my test guppies for this, um, going through this. So start an account. We need your name, we need your brand, we need a location. One thing I'm a big fan of when you, when I show you my Google, my um, YouTube page, I have a branded banner at the top that shows you where I do real estate. So when my page pops up, my intent is to tell you clearly who I am, where I am and what I do. So I'm super obsessed with that. Um, I've been seeing other people's pages and I like the information that it gives right off the bat. Because years ago, someone called me and she wanted to buy a house. She loved my video. I missed a step. She didn't have a way to contact me. I didn't put the right information up where people could easily find it. She had to search and come across something else that had my number on it and that's how she got in touch with me. So I was like, oh, you screwed the pooch on that one. Get it together. So um, for those in the Krista program and know all that craziness that we usually do, your client avatar and your niche. Who are you trying to reach and what area will you focus in on? So if you want the SEO search to be higher, you should definitely feature a certain place that you want to work from. Um, for most of us, we're right here in the Maryland area. I'm super specific about being in Akakeek, Maryland. I want you to know I work from Akakeek, Maryland. I'm going to do videos about Akakeek, Maryland. But the other piece I need to do is include this very intentionally throughout my YouTube page. As I'm speaking about houses and different things that I'm doing, I wanna drop those blurbs in so I have more ways for people to come and find me and being very intentional about it. Because if you've ever looked up the hashtag Maryland Homes for Sale, Maryland Realtor, they are very, 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 very broad. They are not very specific. So you do wanna have two very broad hashtags, but you want to have some specific niche location hashtags as well to start to designate yourself as the go-to person in those particular areas. And please don't try to do 8 million places. Let's focus on one and grow from there. That's been my intent for years. Just focus on one and grow from there. It will work. It will get you in, in front of it. But the consistency of this thing, um, like I've been speaking on the past couple of weeks, I found that the consistent steps that I've taken in building this social media presence has been the reward. It's not even the content that I'm creating. It's just the fact that I continuously drop it. I, I think it's good. It, people may love it, but sometimes every video doesn't hit. But either way, whether they do or don't, I love the fact that I can be very specific about my area, teach people about where I live, where I shop, where I eat, all the things that you can do in my particular area. So having a client avatar, knowing who you're going to work with, because um, 
I'm a big fan of rattling off my client avatar because I know who my people are. I know what they are, where they where they're at, where they shop, where they eat, where they vacation because my client avatar happens to be right in my age group. They're doing the same things that myself and my husband do. And we have a lot of similarities. So it's very easy for me to designate my client avatar, especially in the area that we're in. So the consistency, my favorite thing to talk about. Your YouTube channel is like a TV station, TV show. What time does your show come on? How often does your show come on? Does it come on at different times of day? Because your, your favorite TV show does not come on at different times of day. It comes on once a week, every day, whatever it may be, always at the same time. So you don't have to go searching for it. So if you want to create a consistent piece, I would, in turn, make it, I would make my daily drops, weekly drops, same date, same day, same time. So people get in the habit of expecting things from you. There's a girl out in California. Her YouTube banner will state she is giving you a new video every week. I think it's 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's a challenge. So people are going to come to her, her, her page every week and be like, okay, it's 11 a.m. Where that video at? And I'll show you how that can be done without you running around like a chicken with your head cut off, worried that you're not going to get your video up and in time. What will you do to capture their attention? What are the things that we can talk about? Because I think in the video world, when people say, oh, I'm going to create a video, the first thing people say is, oh my God, I don't know what to say. We're all real estate agents. We get asked probably nine times out of 10, I don't care what level you're at, how much you sell, how often you sell, where you sell, we're going to get the same questions most of the time from the potential buyers, potential sellers. So how many times have you been asked the same question to exhaustion where you can just answer that question? That's a video. How many times can you tell people about different loan programs that are available? That's a video. Those are the things that we can capture and put out in the, in the air so people can see and consume because you may think, oh my God, that's such an easy question. Everybody knows that. They really don't. They don't. There are still people out here who believe they need 20% down on the house. That's not the case all the time. So we are here to inform, educate, and be a resource. So the things that you may think are simple and you shouldn't, you know, put video behind it, put a video behind it. It'll work. So you don't know what to say. Where do we go? One, we just talk about the things that we experience on a daily basis. We had an ick conversation on TikTok Live last night about the things that we that bother us as realtors when we deal with buyers and sellers, just small little things that, that happen and everybody, and we laugh about it because it's so common amongst all of us. That's that's daily interactions. One, you can go to the website, answer the public. You can type in something about buying a home somewhere and you will get a plethora of different other questions that you can ask or create content to that will help you come up with something on it. So talk about on a daily basis. And I'm a big proponent fan of writing down what my content is, what it will be and what day it will drop and just being intentional. And if, of course, if you don't want to be in front of the camera, there are so many different solutions for that. Okay, and then the trending topics. The thing about social media that I absolutely adore, people will show you the blueprint. All you gotta do is copy and paste. If it's a trending sound, a trending thing that's happening in the video, something that you can relate to and twist it around or relate it to real estate, jump on it, copy, paste, and repeat. Do it the same. The people who probably saw that thing probably don't know you. And the thing that you're going to put out, they, the people that saw the first video don't know, you know, they just don't, you don't cross paths. A lot of us, we're right around the corner from each other. We do not cross paths. So we can create content very similar to each other. I'm not saying do it just like you saw it, but to put a little twist on it, do something fun, do something different. I don't care. But if you know it's a trending sound, take advantage of it. Trending sounds kill on social media and they get you in front of the right people and they get you attention. And our, our intent is to get attention and then create engagement. It's a step, it's a process, it's a thing. So 
Um, bum, 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 so this bum, is a video bum, bum, of mine. Bum, bum, Wait, let me stop I can do this that one. better. What if it's like? So that video is 6.1 seconds. And that's just me at a house filming a house. And the sound that you're hearing is a very, very popular sound um, that came from TikTok that I was able to drop, create, and create a, a YouTube video out of it. I do repurpose a lot of my videos. I don't create new content every time I go to a different platform. I just figure out ways to scrub it and keep it moving. So that video just shows snapshots of a house and the music behind it. It did very well. This is another video. The main level features this sitting area where you can add a half bath. And that's bath. just my voice. I'm not in the video. I'm not view. shown anywhere. I'm just showing you the house. It's Walk you through. Tons of storage space. On the main level here, we'll find the open floor plan kitchen and dining area. Beautiful pendants over top of this large island. And as you can see, it features. That video did very well on YouTube. It did very well on TikTok. Um, once again, just being very intentional in my in my my planning, knowing that people love to see beautiful houses. And if I'm out and about and I see something, I see a beautiful neighborhood. Um, Justine and I have taken our um, thing, and we just literally will ride down the street and video out the window. It's it's crazy, it's ghetto, but it it works, and people love it. We get tons of hits off of those um, particular videos. People are asking where we are. They're asking price points. They ask all the things that we as um, agents want to create. So. You're gonna upload a video. You're gonna do your editing. Um, I, I recommend highly TikTok because it's so easy to edit there. Um, another thing, uh, Instagram is becoming a, a fan favorite lately for me. We're not going to create very, very long content. Right now, shorts are killing on YouTube. You can create a long piece of content and that is over 60 seconds on YouTube if you choose to do so. But you can also take that long content and take pieces and bits out of it and make shorts and get even more attention, engagement, people following you and, you know, keeping up with what you got going on. And my favorite, no face, no case. I'm not ready to be in front of the camera. Well, these are two examples of videos that you didn't have to be in front of the camera. And I got tons of engagement. I got tons of questions asked. There's another video I have of a property um, a beautiful, a single family house that is decorated to the hilt and people absolutely love it. So 17,000 views later, that's what we deal with. That's the kind of stuff that we can create out of nothing. And it's just me riding around just filming houses. Okay. Um, so you're going to get my mug. Absolutely essential to hide. And this one, you're going to see my face. Construction. This video will guide you from the common pitfalls of designing your dream home alone and why you want it. So I'll tell you my, my point of, at some point you want people to see who you are because you get stopped on the street. People ask you, who you, oh my God, I saw your video. I see you on video all the time. My, my clients follow me, they engage, they love it. But the new people that see you on the, on, on the video, it creates a, What's the word I'm looking for? Where um, they, they can associate with you better. They, I've seen you. I know what she looks like. This is the real person. This is the person I'm meeting. Because this is what you're going to get in person anyway. I don't know who else I can send to represent me. So it's okay that you get this face. Because this is the face you got to deal with anyway. So in this one, um, I'm doing that. The first one was just talking about different things that can go on in a house and a deal. This one is one talking about tips for new agents. First. First, I need you to set up a marketing strategy. Who are the people that you want to sell to? Where are the people that you want to sell to? And what do they love? Put yourself in front of those people by creating content that speaks to what they're looking for. School, houses, restaurants, shopping, those are the things that you should know as a real estate agent. Know your camera, super important. Number two, if you come from a full-time work environment, just like I did, you Okay, so... Me talking over that song was super popular on TikTok. So that song killed for me on TikTok. I turned it down very low so you can hear me talking, but the song gets the attention that it feeds into the algorithm. So it puts you in front of the people that like this song 
on different videos. So when these people look up these that particular song, they'll find your video in the in the in the hay. It's it's super cool. It's just it's I love the algorithm and how it works. And not only do I use sounds songs, but I can use a sound. Somebody talking, saying something. I got a real couple smart aleck ones out there that are doing really really well on YouTube right now. Okay, so let's make some money. Everybody wants to know the question. I have heard. I mean, I've said in so many different video sessions where they talk about you can make money if you put videos up. Oh my God, you're going to make money. This is how you do it. Blah, blah, blah. But nobody ever tells you the numbers. So I'm going to share. I don't get key. I will tell you this is what you need. You need a thousand subscribers. You need 4,000 hours of long range content watch time. And you need 10 million hours of watch time on shorts. It sounds very daunting, but if you're consistent, and you put out great content that gets people's attention, you can kill on it. And one thing I will tell you um, as we go to my um, uh, my um, YouTube page, one thing I will tell you is um, if I can have a thought, my brain is on, on freeze right now. One thing I'll tell you is um, the, God, dog. The titles of things have been major, major drawing points for me to get um, noticed on um, YouTube. So love it, absolutely love it. And I'm gonna go to my YouTube page so you can see that. So here's my YouTube page. Can you guys see it? Yes. Okay, just make sure y'all quiet. Okay, so in the YouTube world, this is what you're gonna look for. Um, this is your home. I've got this many subscribers. I have been working a pan campaign for the past 30 days to grow my subscriptions tremendously. And it has been really working, but I have to do a lot. I have to be very consistent with putting my videos out. So no, um, no work, no reward. So every day I drop two, sometimes three YouTube videos, but I will show you on the back page how that happens. Um, here, these are the videos that you first see. These are all long range, anything over 60 seconds. Don't know how this video ended up in there, but I'm not here to ask these people any questions because I do what I do and I stay in my lane. Down here, you're going to find my shorts. My shorts are what I am most consistently putting out right now. Um, these just went live last night. They go at a certain time of day. These went live the day before. And as you go on and go on and go on. So this one went live probably about three or four days ago. We had 5,000 views on that one. This is These are breakouts from very long range content. The burn box video and the definition of a first time home buyer are breakouts. They call remixes from my long range content. If you have the YouTube app, take a, take a moment to look at your long range content. There will be a remix button in the app. Click on it and take 15 seconds of video out of the um, long range content and you can create a whole nother piece. So repurposing at its best, it gives you the opportunity to not have to sit and create content every two seconds. This one video I have here is just of the kitchen talking about the fact that there are two tone cabinets, 1.8 thousand views in, I think this is, should be three days because if I count for every two, it's about like three days ago, I put this video up. Um, what's another one? Outdoor spaces got big numbers. Sometimes people don't care about the housing market, but my intent, my, my biggest goal with everything that I do is to capture your attention. Hopefully the, the way this works is you'll see other videos on my um, YouTube page and start to engage with my, my videos. Let me show you another good one. Well, I can show more. It's just I gotta go. I gotta go into my thing. So when it comes to your channel, you're gonna go into it. You can manage your videos. This is where you manage all your videos. The fact that 
your so, so this this um, video is called Deeper Than Deep. This is about a house that is 70 feet, feet deep. So that was the name of the video. That's what the description of me saying, let's do something different that will catch people's attention. This one is Condo Smondo, um, Sexy Kitchen Views, Let's Go to Bed, um, Stella Stay in My Home Shorts. What's your net worth? Two-tone cabinets, let the outside in. And if you don't want me, then don't talk to me. That's, that's craziness. Don't pay me no attention with that. Um, tips for home sellers to prepare for the spring market. Basic, it didn't get a ton of views, but look what happened. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Got 5,000 views. Be let's, let's try to be very creative when it comes to um, naming our videos. Just fun stuff that will make people say, oh, I want to click and engage. So outdoor spaces got good numbers, but if we keep going down and we really pay attention, how many stories are in your home? That's something that caught people's attention. How many, like, how is that even possible that you have multiple stories in your home? Like, things like that. Hughesville, Maryland homes at a glance. I, I find that when I feature cities, I get a ton of attention um, when I say, hey, this is what houses look like in this particular area. Now, you're going to get the people that will jump on your thing and say, oh, my God, that's stupid. That, that costs too much or that's dumb. I wouldn't pay that. Well, you wouldn't pay it. Somebody will. That's not my problem and that's not y'all problem. Just keep moving. Just keep doing what you do and keep moving. You're going to get the people that are going to try to jump on your page and make you feel a certain way. And I figure half of these videos don't even have comments. So I don't have to deal with the foolishness, but so often a day. Analytics. Once again, those who know me know I'm obsessed with analytics. So how many views you got in the last 28 days? What was your most popular? Your, your top content in this period of time. What Because you want to, I'm tracking it. I personally like to track every seven days. This tracks every 28 days. So you can know within a month if you've done what you're supposed to do when it comes to gaining traction on different videos. You can see what works. You can see what doesn't work. What really, look, small nooks in the home, reimagine. Host a party in a foyer, say less. And once again, you see, if you don't want me, then don't talk to me, was very popular. I did two different videos with the same title. You can name it the same thing and get the same traction, but you can create a whole different video that will talk and do something totally different. So that's something you can keep in mind as well. What Howard County homes look like. Um, are you sure this is a condo and a kitchen? I literally twisted the words around and didn't catch it until too late, but guess what? We got great um, response from it. So why not keep it and keep it running? So um, your overview, here's your content. You get the breakdown, how many likes you got, how many subscribers you got in a certain amount of time. All of that is super important. You know your top shorts. What was working for you the best? The shorts feed is where I'm getting a lot of attention. So I'm going to keep plugging that short feed. 95% of my attention is coming from the short feed. So why would I keep making short videos and keep plugging myself? I'm also making long range content, but my focus is getting more people under my belt to start to engage them. YouTube searches. Some people find me, 3% of people find me. That's all right. We just, you don't keep plugging at it. Um, your audience. Once again, everybody knows I'm obsessed with numbers. What I will tell you is when you know where people come from and what they like and what they're watching, it makes it super easy for you to create new content to keep them in front of you. When your viewers are on YouTube, amen. What time do y'all be up? Because half the time, the people that be up to watch my videos, I'm not up watching them. So look at your um, algorithm to see what times really truly are your hotspot times. And I would encourage you for those who are going after the monetization piece, one way to get hours is to go live on YouTube. I have to put that into my schedule to go live on YouTube more often. I just started doing it with um, TikTok. So I'm, I'm adding it in. The, the top geographies, uh, USA, most of my people are coming from America. I'm not speaking a different language, so that's what I'm getting. 99% um, of the people who watch um, just subscribe. And then we get to the female male demographic. I, I have way more females on my page than males. 
nine times out of 10, that is what I want in my business. And the age demographic, it speaks to my client avatar, somewhere in this age group right here. These are my people. These are the people I want. These are the people I'm, I'm helping buy houses. So I'm on the right track. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And I keep that in mind every single day. So when it comes to earning, this is where you go to your page to track how far you've come and how much more you got to go. So now this is where I have to go. This is how I have to finish it up and get there in a certain amount of time. You have to do one of these in a year. The 365 days is for the, the 4,000 hours of public watch time. And the 90 days is for the shorts. So my intent is to keep plugging away at the shorts and reach that goal. So super excited about that. And um, I'm just plugging away. And once again, in the past 28 days, maybe, I have been very focused on creating shorts to gain um, the type of traction that I've gotten. So I think I've, I've gained like 85 people in the past 30 days when I probably said like 75 for years and nothing was happening because I want, once again, I was not targeted and I was not into it. So um, I'll show you real quick how to create. So you create a video, upload it here. I don't know what, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm on my computer and not my laptop where most of my stuff usually ends up but I should have some video here that we can take and use for an example. And it's so super slow, it drives me crazy. Any questions while we wait? Uh, yeah, I have a question. So back to your, um, when you have the trolls that make comments, do you suggest, do you engage them or you just leave it alone? Hmm, I leave them alone, I don't care. I don't, I don't talk to them. They don't want nothing. <laughs> I know. No, I... They don't want anything. <laughs> Nine times, they don't want anything. They don't. It's, they it's just bored. It's, mm -hmm. it's just some random person just making up stuff. I don't got time for that foolishness. Um, let me see if I have a quick video here I can throw up. Sorry, I didn't have this prepped. I, I always forget that I have to go to my regular computer and be a, a regular person sometimes. And, actually work from here my question is when your facebook profile i how do you how do you tell that you you know i see your banner you have a pender group real estate how do i tell what mine's is i looked in and, and i have my the company address but i don't think i have uh exp on my google page is there but i don't see it on youtube so mm -hmm. i yeah. gotta give it to and figure out what i'm looking at you know what's I'll show you where it is. Okay. Um, I know I need to do a video. I try not to do none of my crystal videos. It's too they too long. To get on my nerves. Not get on my nerves, but it just it won't show you the short thing like I wanted to. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So these are recordings. So I'll show you what a recording, what it looks like. So these are just Zoom recordings that I have in here. So you're gonna upload the video there. You're gonna go, you're gonna give a title. Let's just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save it. I'm just gonna show you guys the, the steps. So Zoom recording, um, you would want to hashtag shorts. You can create a thumbnail here. There's another video in the video takeover group where it shows you how to do thumbnails. Um, I like having playlists, so my, my videos are organized and structured. Um, so you can know all my new home construction videos are here, all my home buyer related videos are there, new listings, agent corner, when I'm talking about things I wanna um, suggest to agents and things like that, video takeover has its own corner, things of that nature. So let's just do it, do this, just to show you guys. And thumbnails are super easy to upload here. So it's the same uh, thing that's right behind me right now. It's just a PNG that I created on Canva. As long as you create a PNG, you can make it into anything you want it to be and make it a thumbnail. But I would suggest, like in my video on thumbnails, 
please make it very bold, make it very bright so people can notice it from their mobile device and from their desktop. So you want people to see your, your thumbnail wherever they may be. When you go down here, please, please say, no, it's not made for kids. Don't be like me. I was in Cocoa Melon Land for weeks and it was, it was utterly ridiculous. Oops. Okay, so show more. Here is where you're gonna do all your tagging, being very specific about where you want people to know you do business. You can put all these tags in here, but you can also hashtag from here. But please do at least, I was just told this week um, to do at least two sentences of descriptions of the video that you're talking about. I would be very intentional and make sure that you um, do SEO related keywords. So in the next page, what's your question, Faye? Because I want to go to the next page if you have a question here. Um, the um, hashtags, is there a limit? Because I know like on IG is like 30. I feel like TikTok might not have a limit because I think I've done more than 30, but does- I, wouldn't, I would not do so many. Not so many on YouTube? Mm, YouTube has a limit. Um, let me see, where is it? Why can't I see it? So you got 500 characters you can use. So that's the limit. And it's got not, it. you don't do hashtag, you just type in what you want want to be searched. The thing okay. you want to always come up with. Thank you. So um, I'm like on TikTok, I do four. I don't do no more. I do four very big ones that are very trending and hot. And then I do two, no, I'm sorry. I do two very generic trending ones and then I do two very local specific ones to me here if you want to really compound your videos you can go add you want to add a video and you want the person to subscribe to your page both of these can be found on the video do you you can pick a video that is um um very, very relatable to the next video or just something that um, YouTube suggests and make sure that it's, you know, a good fit and it'll flow. So have you ever watched a video on YouTube and as soon as the video, it suggests something else from that person? It's very intentional how it's all done. And they also have this little button here where you see my face. It's reminding people to subscribe to my page. So once again, further encouraging people to stay in touch. I have more information. I'm going to drop more information and you know you can come here and I'm a reliable source, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you save that, you go, what it's checking for in the copyright, you want to make sure that you haven't picked some copyrighted content, that you haven't spoken to the fact that you do not own the rights to this music. Or once again, you want to find a, something very trending on YouTube that does not need to be copyright checked. So in the next page, this is where you shine. You can schedule your videos, whatever date, whatever time, you can do it and be consistent on a daily basis. Every day, seven and eight o'clock are my times. I've been getting a ton of success with those times. I like to keep my, stay in my wheelhouse. So that way, if you start early in the morning, you get your videos together, you can come here, set up your videos, and that evening, they will automatically roll out and you don't have to worry about doing it. Because nine times out of 10, most of us are in the evening, we're either preparing ourselves for dinner, preparing ourselves for the next day, out showing houses, and we don't have the time to go back and do this again. So this is how that works. That's the steps to um, just uploading a video. Um, it's one other piece. Um, so your banner, you wanted to speak about, let me go back to the dashboard. Um, let me show you my channel. So when she said she doesn't have anything listed up front, this is your, your YouTube banner. This, in this, you go into the customized channels space, And this is where you will change all your things. You can do a channel trailer. That's something I have not done yet. 
So for people who have subscribed, I can create a video speaking to them and just have a conversation about the fact that um, this is my channel. This is what it'll be about. This is who I am, blah, blah, blah. It's just another opportunity to get in front of people. And you can do a video for returning subscribers that they'll see every time that they jump on. When it comes to branding, your pictures here, make sure you use a PNG or GIF, no, auto, no automation, animation files. Your banner image will go here. This is where you can change, put your banner in. Do you have a watermark that you want to add? At the, and you want this to show every time in a video. So here I have like and subscribe throughout all of my videos should be through the entire videos. Your basic info, this is where your name is of your, your page. So that's the name of my page. I'm being, once again, trying to be very intentional about who I am and where I, where I service. I'm a realtor. I am sell, selling Acadie, Maryland. This is your handle on YouTube. And then, um, of course, a bio description of where you are, your channel URL. This is what you copy and paste when you want people to subscribe to you. You can send them and say, hey, follow me here. And then you have a custom URL that kind of speaks more. At one point, I was looking at Upper Marlboro. I meant that I changed it, and that's not the case anymore. Don't know why I won't go back. It's weird. My website is here. My um, links on my banner. I have five different links on my banner, and this is my contact info. So it's just all behind the scenes, the little things that you can do. I would heavily use Canva to get yourself um, all of these options done. They usually have the right sizes and measurements in them uh, so you can keep flowing and get all the pieces put into your YouTube page. Yes, ma'am, Ms. Faye. Okay, so you might have answered what I'm looking for. So you mentioned something about the watermark where it says um, like and subscribe. I wanted mm -hmm. to know where, where do you go to make that uh, is it Canva? Yeah, hey, Canva. Everything. I'm a Canva girl. And <laughs> Canva makes so, my life so easy. And then these other links that you said are on your banner. Like if somebody clicked on the banner on those links, it would go to would something go, else. It would go to something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I know this probably isn't that class, but maybe at another point, right, can you show us like what the watermark looks like? That uh, like and I was going to show you guys real quick um, the the channel what happens when you go to shorts like the most common the, the latest shorts sorry i hate when i can't i can't see the screen so let me go to youtube i'm gonna go to shorts listen i'm not trying to be a pygmy but how do you expect fucking flowers? <laughs> so this is what happens when you want to so let me understand. So this is what happens when you go to shorts. This is where your short can end up. It'll be right in the line. And all people got to do is this. Yes. <laughs> Disney really broke my heart. And it just keeps oh, just got this. They're not long. <laughs> All right, Beach Bash, I'm going to show you guys a five bedroom, three bath home that is currently $448,000. Now, if you Watch don't think you can do that, mm -hmm. and what's the name of her video? All right, Beach Bash, I'm going to show you guys 000, a five bedroom, $448,000, five bedroom, three bath. We were she a baby. When a woman oh, cheats, these are my guys. Yeah, I love that. so soft. My client wanted a home with a bedroom downstairs, so I showed her this home. She loved it, but said something isn't right. What do you think it is? With a bedroom downstairs, this gorgeous Las Vegas home is 2,274 square feet. The spacious modern. Hi, I'm a single mother living in a van with my toddler, and this is how we stay warm during the winter. For starters, we put a towel. Hi, I'm a single mother. This is why I'm a this train Let's of videos and it goes all the time. Oh, she the best. <laughs> so, are you kidding me? So when the all the trends, gives what's popular. So, like, if you see this video as a million gives hits, you a red Barrett and asks you to do the dance at the premiere. <laughs> Hey, 
So I'm just trying to give you guys a sense of the things that you'll run across when it comes to that. Now, um, when you're on your regular YouTube page, these are the people that I follow. Are they friends of mine and just different pages that pop up um, that they think I like all these things. So they keep putting them in front of me. And that's what your, your hope is for your own page. People, they will, people will say, oh my God, we like her. They, she likes the stuff. Keep putting it in front of her. So once again, here's shorts. There's Justine's right down the way. Here's mine. This is a good girl friend of mine in Mich um, Wisconsin, Laura. We made the list. What did we do to do it? Nothing special. We just keep putting out more videos. So any questions? Hey, Tyler. <laughs> Bro, I'm just very impressed with you. I don't know how long you've been doing this, but it definitely I am seems as though you have put the time, the energy, the effort, maybe some dollars into it. And it's, you can tell that you're, you're doing your thing. I'm just becoming a student. When I realized that there was a way to get in here and start taking it, I was like, let's go. Show me the way. Let me take note. I like me and my little notebooks. I'll be walking around with my little notebooks like a little, little kid because I want to know. And I, and I was a little frustrated. Like I spoke to in the beginning of the video, I was a little frustrated that people would say, oh, go do video, go do video. But nobody was telling the numbers, the qualifications for the different levels. So everything has a level. Um, unfortunately, Facebook Reels and Instagram, we haven't figured that number out yet. We're still trying to get to the bottom of it. But on TikTok, you need a thousand um, followers to be able to go live. Then you get to 10,000. It's another um, criteria that you've met and you can do other things when you get to that level. So it's always something to track. And once again, I'm obsessed with numbers. So I track it all and I try to figure out how I can get in front of it. And if you ask me to do certain things, I can do them. And I usually, um, with this last 30 day blast, I haven't spent any dollars to do it. I've got a guy, um, his name is Robert Benjamin. He is like a YouTube mentor. He does a ton of free videos on um, YouTube and he teaches you how to, he does YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I don't know if he does Facebook Reels. That's a great question. I have to look at that. But his name is Robert Benjamin and he has a ton of free content on how to grow your, your platforms, whichever one you choose to do. So I have just been super focused on growing my TikTok, my TikTok and my YouTube. And now I'm, I'm dabbling in Instagram. I've got to learn the back end of that and how it really operated to the best of, of my ability. But learning these little tips and tricks over the past few months has been really cool. And I'm super excited about it. But I know I got to dig deep and be consistent. So that's where it come from. That's definitely where it come from. Because I didn't know all this stuff last year. <laughs> I think Krista did a, a coaching call one day uh, a couple months ago. And she was like, get on YouTube. Because the thing that we're going to want to know is the fact that YouTube, um, you know how you know how Google you used to search on Google and say, um, look for certain things. And some of the wordier things would get put up front and videos would be behind, lagging down bottom, bottom of the screen. Now they're saying video is being pushed up. And that was supposed to be as of January 1st. And then I kept hearing in the streets that shorts were killing. Everybody wanted a short. You can still do a long range, but everybody wanted a short. So I'm like, what else do I need to know? One of the things. So I've just been digging deep on that and doing my homework. Well, I've been following and my numbers are coming.